good evening fellows how are you today I'm going to show you how you can create a new account in Azure and get some free credit to create servers database etc so let's get started in Google let's search with Azure and then uh, we might see um, Azure sign up so we will be sent to an uh, URL where we can see what are the free products that we get when we sign up for a new account in Azure so every cloud provider like AWS Google Cloud or Azure gives you a free trial bonus why because you you need to explore over there to see what are the options they are giving what are the uh, possibilities and all those things so uh, let's uh, this is azure.microsoft.com slash enus slash free then we can see what are the free options here and um, we have uh, virtual box machines 750 hours storage ticks SQL database file storage blob storage Cosmo DB bandwidth okay great so let's uh, start start free I see I have an account already but let's sign up with a different one uh, create a new one I need to create a new one okay I have a different uh, mail account which I am going to use to create this new Azure. You can use your existing email address but uh, I want to try with the new one so that uh, if the trial expires it doesn't hamper anything uh, on my uh, real customers or productions. Okay. So um, it is Atiku Rahman at the rate of one two two nine. It is one two two nine. One two two nine at the rate of Gmail dot com. next create a passwords let's do this I usually use random password generator to generate the passwords you can choose whatever you want it doesn't matter okay then I go to next verify email address enter the code that you sent Don't, okay must be a code here. The code is seven one three eight. Next, I need to fill up this capture. K S P five L Y X Okay, um, first name. Uh, 
1229 at the rate of uh, gmail.com phone number oh this field is required okay let me pause this video just for a moment After giving my phone numbers and other details, they asked for my identification via giving a credit card information. So I am now going to fill up this credit card information in step 2 and then I will uh, continue next. So let's pause this video while I give the credit card information. Ok, I am back. So my credit card has been uh, verified and uh, it's step 2 is finished now I'm going to go to step 3 portal Okay, great. So I have uh, two hundred dollars of my credit available. Okay. Then I'm going to go to virtual machines. This is probably similar to uh, EC2 instances in AWS. So let's create a virtual machine. Free trial resource group. Okay, I give instance name test azure then region I choose uh, there are a lot of regions available da, da, da. India East Asia Japan Korea let's choose India let's see what happens Ubuntu server what are the possible options we have Ubuntu Red Hat Linux SUSE CentOS and Windows ok let's choose Ubuntu size the mirror must not be empty let's choose a size here
I choose the smallest one because this is it looks okay so I need to switch the location let's go to uh, US East 1 and we have Ubuntu Server 18 and change the size let's do this minimum one this is the smallest one select okay. one virtual CPU and 0.5 gigabytes of RAM <coughs> then I give to a username Ubuntu and then give a password generate password Okay, inbound port rules, public inbound ports, none. Allow selected ports, HTTP, HTTPS, SSH. Okay, next go to next. Premium SSD, we have a uh, standard HDD, standard SSD, premium SSD. Let's choose standard SSD. Okay, then uh, data ticks, create and attach a new ticks, not needed, advance. Next, go to networking. Virtual network, we have. Okay, create one. Load balancing, no. Accelerate networking, no. Okay, region next. Okay, <coughs> so I need to uh, carefully choose the resource group here, which I created just Azure, and then uh, I can see virtual networks here, which is displaying now new subnet default public IP it will be created new okay basic uh, authentication we keep all as a default and go to management okay uh, enable basic plan for free yes monitoring put diagnostic on OS case diagnostic off okay storage fine identity I keep everything uh, as uh, as default. Backup off. Auto shutdown. Enable auto shutdown. Okay. As you active directory off. Identity off. Okay. Next advance tags. Extension provides post deployment information. What is this? Okay, I don't think it's required at this moment for the simplicity let's just start with this OS Ubuntu
okay it will take some time to create the virtual machine let's wait for this it looks like my deployment went well and here is my instance that is up and running virtual machines let's go to the details okay do I have a public IP yeah I have let's try to connect okay great so now I have uh, connected to that instance let me run some comments and see if that works or fine Sorry, I have to copy the password. <laughs> okay, I have connected to that instance. <coughs> Let's run some comments. Do apt-get install Apache 2 PHP It is taking some time, so let's uh, wait for this. And uh, okay, I'm back. It seems that uh, PHP and Apache has been successfully running. So let's see. Okay, Apache two service is running. If I now browse the IP address, I should see a default page. Yes, it works. So I can see my Ubuntu default page in Azure. That's great. So let's uh, go a bit further. That means I, I want to install something. Um, let's say uh, put a PHP info file. So let's go to uh, dup, dup, dup. then HTML sudo vi php info dot php php info ok let's try I need to give php info dot php great so my php version 7.2 with ubuntu and everything is perfect so we have done apache and then we have installed php as well with combination of apache and php then i, I want to do further more want to use let's and keep to set up something over there so for this i need to set up a dns record I use cloud DNS uh, 
I have uh, an A record that I need to create. Host is Azure, and the IP address is uh, this one. Just copy, paste. Great. So I have now uh, Azure dot sites and shops dot com the IP resolve takes some time so let's wait five minutes and come back again. I'm back let's see if we have uh, if the IP address change has been successful it still shows uh, DNS not found let's try to do this in a proxy site Okay, it seems that this uh, DNS change is done, but it's not came to my uh, area yet. So we can use this proxy site to do the setup, or we can use wait for this. So let's uh, let's continue with other things. I have set up Apache. I have set up PHP. Now I'm going to set up MySQL Server. SQL Server It will install MySQL looks like it gives an error in uh, installing the MySQL server in Ubuntu so I will dig this into further we have an alternative which is uh, using uh, Azure's MySQL server so um, if we search here MySQL then we have option to Azure my database for MySQL servers okay let's create one Subscription free trial, resource group test Azure, server name, uh, WordPress. Subscription 
server name is already in use ok wordpress sns great admin username let's say give wp admin password you can just copy the password here what we have used confirm password that's great location Asia Pacific Australia Central I can use this that's no problem but it's better if you have the same region that's my web server is so I keep US US is 5.7 I need to use a very uh, minimalistic server basic not general purpose basic and it's generation 5 but I need to be very less than this one virtual core storage 5 gigabytes one virtual core basic storage okay let's try Project WordPress. Okay, that's good. Let me create this. Okay, it will take some time. In the meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, I install the Let's Encrypt here. Apache and it is 18.4. Okay, This skill gives me an error, so let me check for the solution. And okay, uh, the broken MySQL version had uh, had been removed, so now I have installed the uh, software properties common, and then I'm going to install certbot uh, auto. Okay, then I 
just Still stalling the third part of the Just a moment. Okay, I next run the next command and let's see what happens. It is creating a certificate, so let's wait for this. Okay, <coughs> my certificate has been uh, issued, so let's. Uh, install the um, let's see if I can browse this now okay that's nice okay the next thing I will do I will just install a WordPress and set up over there I grab the WordPress download link from the Google. Okay, then uh, I have downloaded the WordPress, so let's unzip it. Oh, I need to install unzip 